Do you ever stop and wonder how some people have access to almost everything, while a large majority of the population is consistently struggling to get by? All of this is caused by wealth inequality. The richer get richer and the poor get poorer. It's easy to ignore this issue when it doesn't affect us directly. But living day to day or paycheck to paycheck speaks volumes to the reality of wealth inequality and how it's truly hurting all of us. There are millions of families, single parent families at that, attempting to work multiple jobs to make ends meet. In the US alone, there is approximately 10.4 million single mothers living with children under the age of 18. This is representative of approximately 80% of all single parent households in the entire country. The number of single mothers in the US has been steadily increasing over the past few decades due to a variety of factors. These include changes in family structures, the rising cost of childcare, and the challenges facing women in the workforce. I cannot even begin to understand how such few people can be hoarding all of this wealth while the majority of the population of the world is struggling significantly to provide basic necessities to their own children or themselves. We're all familiar with Amazon, but you'll scratch your head just like I did when you look at their tax payments based on their income that were made from the years 2018 to 2020. In 2018, Amazon reportedly paid zero dollars in federal income. You heard that right, zero dollars. And this was on a revenue of $232.9 billion. In 2019, they reportedly paid 162 million. You heard that right, million on an income of 280.5 billion dollars that year. In 2020, they reportedly paid 1.7 billion dollars in income taxes on a 386 billion dollar revenue for the year. How is that possible? I want you to consider something and it's that wealth inequality doesn't just hurt the people at the bottom. It hurts all of us. When there's a huge gap between the rich and the poor, it leads to more crime, less social mobility, and a weaker economy. We need to recognize that wealth inequality is a problem that affects all of us. We can't just ignore it and hope it goes away. It's time to take action. Now, I want to leave you with this. We all may come from different backgrounds and have different experiences. Yet, we all should and must share a common goal. A world where everyone, and I mean everyone, has a fair shot at success. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We are incredibly grateful for your support. And if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And we hope to see you again next time. Take care.